Hello, this is Neil from MasterPaintingNow.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you. I'm going to, I'm going to show a student how to correct his drawings. This is his drawings. I'm going to show you what's wrong with it, and this will help you draw better as well, because these are common mistakes people make. And I'll be teaching some cool stuff about breast anatomy and a little bit about the torso of the female figure. So there's, a th there's several things that are wrong here. So for example, the hand. This just isn't isn't possible. Remember, the thumb is on the inside, the medial side of the arm, right? So this here is the outside of the arm where the deltoid attaches like this up to the collarbone, right? Then you have the, the bicep, you have your tricep here, you have the brachialis in between there. You have this muscle that comes off here. We'll call them the ridge muscles here that come like that, and they go to the thumb. But remember, that's going to be on the medial side, the inside, right? The other side of the arm that we can't see, and that's important. I gotta undo all that. Probably should be on my own layer. This layer here. By the way, if you're interested, and in, this is for my anatomy course, also I highly recommend taking my anatomy 2.0 course. It's shorter, but all the same information is there. And it's uh, just taught in a style that is up to date. At masterpaintingnow.com, the link is in the description of this video. You can download my free brushes here. I have the Bob Rosh brushes for Paintstorm and these brushes here. I'm using my sketching brush here. Right, so that's one thing that's wrong is the thumb should be on the inside. That is, the hand should be more like this here. That'd be like the fingers like that. And then the thumb would actually be coming off the wrist here and coming behind the body like that and then you'd have the wrist in here like so All right so that's more what the hand would be like just remember the thumb is on the inside right the underside of the the medial side the side that's closest to your arm and that's always the case unless you're turning your you know your forearm palm face up we know the back side of the hand is face up and therefore the thumb is going to be on the inside of the body Another thing that's wrong, the breast here, totally wrong. So the shapes are wrong. How much distance we have here is pretty all right, but I would make the shapes more clear. That is, the space here is pretty good. But this, it wouldn't start from up here unless she's wearing some kind of push-up bra or something. All that's going to be rather flat. Also, keep in mind that the breast from this view are going to take on a little bit of a different shape. But when you're in a three-fourths view like this, you can see this is the collarbone, the belly button. So we know the center line is here, right? Well, if the center line is going like this, then the nipples must be going like this, right? It has to be with the collarbone, right? So the nipples pretty much line up with the collarbones. So if you see how your collarbones are going, make a straight line, the nipples will also be following that same straight line. And then the rib cage is going to be following a slightly different line like this. That is the bottom of the coastal ridges there. So that's important to understand. And that's what you like. You really have to remember that the nipples are going to fall in line with the collarbone. So if your entire torso would, if were facing up this way, like for some reason she, instead of kind of being, bending this way, she's kind of bending this way, and that's how her torso is, well, her collarbone is going to follow, and therefore her nipples are going to follow. Right? So remember, nipples follow collarbone. It's a pretty easy rule to remember. Instead of trying to remember, is this nipple above or below this nipple, depending on... No, just, just remember, it follows the collarbone. Okay, so we're going to follow the collarbone here with the nipples like that. The other thing that's happened is, remember that if you view a female from the top view, right? We're looking down at her, so we're seeing this is her head, right? And this is going to be her shoulders, her torso, right? Well, actually, her head would probably be sticking out a little bit further than that but anyway actually that's gonna bug me so let's kind of make it a little bit further back like this okay her breasts are going to stick out at like a 45 degree angle right that's where her nipples are going to be if you don't believe this just look at some top-down views of real people you can find them on websites where they teach how to draw you can also just look at an accurate 3d model Right, so the breasts kind of stick out like this. That means when you're viewing the breast from the front view, like if it's just straight on view, that is not from the top view, we're, we're going to be seeing the breast like this. Right, so the, the nipples are going to be out to the side. So from the 
straight top view if you have the rib cage and you have the breasts they're going to be like kind of like a heart you know there's space between the breast but the nipples are going to be out to the side a little bit not not directly in the center of the of the mass of the breast are kind of off to the side of the breast here as you can see you see how there's more space here than there is here that's because look how we're looking at it, it makes sense the nipples are facing out this way and so we're seeing more of this side than we are of this side from the front view okay so that means that this breast here when you, when you're looking at it from this angle right that's what we're doing here we're seeing the breast from its full side here, right? We're seeing that full roundness of the breast there, which means it's going to be the roundest from that angle. And then this breast here, we're seeing only the side of it. See, if, if you're thinking about what you can see from this angle, you're just seeing the side of the breast, right? So you're seeing just this right here, the nipples and be from the side view. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's go and erase some of this here. By the way, this is my favorite program to use. Um, I mean, Photoshop's cool. I don't like the monthly payment thing. I mean, I've, I've been paying it, but I don't like it. I use it for some things, but this is my favorite program to draw with for sure. And to paint with actually, it's pretty much my favorite program to do everything with unless I'm doing like photo editing or something. So what would happen here is, well, first let's think about the muscle. So you have the pec muscle that comes down here. It's gonna come down to about the seventh rib. It kind of pulls over like this. And it kind of comes up and it's an attach. It's going to come up here and attaches to the arm here. Right? That's what creates this shape right here. And then from here, it comes up and attaches like this. Boom. Right? So it's connecting here to the, to the uh, humerus bone. It free floats up here to the first half of the collarbone. The deltoid takes up the second half here. And then it connects all the way along the um, sternum down to about the seventh, sixth, seventh rib, and it kind of comes across an angle like that. Okay, so that's the pec muscle. So let's think about that shape. I'm going to kind of lightly erase that. You know, I have the wrong eraser set here. Let me go ahead and go like this. Click the eraser um, up here. Erasers, I'm just going to use one that's more like this. There we go. So I can kind of erase it without erasing everything. I want that line still to be there. Okay, so from here, this all here should be pretty flat. Like, unless, like, even when a girl wears a push up bra, it pushes her breast up, like, right about here, like that. But she doesn't have any bra on, so. Instead, actually, I'm going to just back up here. There we go. Right, so instead we're going to start the breast more right about here. Remember, there's space still between the breast. Even when you're in a three-fourths view, the breast kind of hangs off to the side here, right? So the breast is all wrong right here. We want this, we want this um, gap right here. There's going to be a little bit of a gap right here. We want to keep that gap there. Okay. So we're going to start right here on this side of the gap, and it's going to kind of come down like this. We'll have the same. We'll go the same length you went, like that. And it's going to come around. And we want this to be kind of rounded right here. This is where it's in, where the breast is attaching, about like this, right? And then the nipple is actually going to stick out more toward us, right? Because it's not going to be pointing that way. Remember, it's pointing like this way. So you got to think about what you're able to see. So the nipple is going to be facing us like this. And to not keep it graphic, I'm just going to go like that. And maybe have a little bit of a shadow like that. So it's going to be kind of coming at us. Remember, it's going to be right in the center even sides on each side of the breast here, right in the center mass there. And then you're going to have a little bit of this coming up like that. You might have a little bit of shadow on the upper part right here, depending on where the light's coming from. Like that, and then you'll have some shadow on this part here. Right, so that's how the breast should look. And I'm going to actually turn his uh, layer down even more now so we can really see what we're doing here. Okay, now all this right here he handled pretty well. So you have the collarbone, and we can come like this. And then you can have the, I'm just going to call it the sterno. Or sometimes for short, I'll even call it the sternomastoid. So it's easier to memorize that way. And this is going to kind of come up and it's going to start going around away from us, right? We have this kind of like foreshortened view. So he's got that right. 
then we're gonna see this sternomastoid like that. I wanna draw a little bit of thickness to it though, like that. And this one here, we're gonna draw a little bit of thickness to it coming down like this, just to kind of see that. And you have the muscles coming down like this here. All right, and then we're gonna see maybe a little bit of the collarbone like right there, and then you're gonna see the edge of the pack muscle where it kind of folds around and then you're gonna have this kind of dip and then you're just gonna see a little bit of the, of the shoulder and remember it, this is where he's got it wrong it should come back behind here just a little bit like this and then it's gonna come like that and then it's gonna come almost straight down like this you're just gonna see a little bit of the shoulder back there and then this is the pack coming forward the pack muscle and then it's gonna come to the breast here remember we want to have the same angle that we have with the thing like that. Make a little bit of a space here. There's a little bit of a gap. We're going to come down like this. And this angle, so we have this angle of the of the nipples here that follows the angle of the collarbone. That's also going to follow this angle here of the breast like that. So he actually went down too far. Let's go ahead and fix this. It's going to come like this. Oops. Like that. We're going to come up like that to the nipple. We'll have a little bit of part of it sticking out like that. And we're going to come in like this up into the. And we're going to be seeing this from a side view almost like that. So that's all the nipple you're going to see. All right. And we'll have a little bit of shadow in here like that. And then a little bit of shadow to kind of show the separation. And then we're going to have the rib kind of coming out like this, kind of coming down, boom. All right, so that's how the breast should look. And so if you think about before and after here, so here's how he had the breast. I don't know why that, hold on a second, what's going on here? Okay, there we go. All right, and then this is how we've corrected it so far. Okay, so it's a pretty big difference. And it's just little differences, though. Like, it doesn't seem like I made that many corrections. But those little corrections makes a huge difference in the overall appearance, right? All those little, all those little differences matter, and they, you know, they make a big difference. So, if, like, you look at it, and you're like, that looks kind of good, but it looks a bit weird to me. Why does it look weird to me? Well, learning this kind of stuff will help you figure out why does this look weird to me. Now, this right here is going to be, oops, wrong layer. Make sure I'm on the right layer. It's going to be a little different. So remember, the deltoid actually attaches about halfway down. So let's kind of come up like this. We're going to have this part of the deltoid. So we're going to have a little bit more structure here. And we're going to come down to about the halfway mark. And then I want to show the trap. He's just going like that. Remember, it starts from up here. So we're going to have this little bit of separation between deltoid and the pec muscle, and then you're gonna have this kind of like stretch right here of skin, and then you're gonna have a little bit of that deltoid that kind of comes like that, right? That's where the deltoid comes. And then the, the rest here is gonna be the arm, and it's actually gonna come back further. It's gonna come back like this here. The elbow's gonna be like right about here, facing that way. Then you have the forearm like this. You're gonna have a bend in the skin here, a fold and the skin like that. So the arm's kind of coming back away from us, so it's being foreshortened a little bit. And then you have the latissimus dorsi kind of comes down here into and meets the rib. Then you have the rib kind of coming like this here, boom. I want to kind of come like right about there. And then you have to think about the lower part here. So the crotch is going to be somewhere down here like that. And so one thing when I'm drawing torsos I like to think about is the halfway point. And so if you think about the whole torso over here for a second, you have like the rib cage here. You imagine that center line that comes down like this. How I how I like to do it is I think about this, that length here, and then I, I want to I want it to be almost the same in half like that. So almost the exact same length for then my lower part for the torso here. And then I know that where I want this is about a halfway point here as well. And the breasts are going to fall in this area, like this area here. And then I need this to kind of come out and it starts 
turning here at the halfway point, right? Right where the rib cage meets, and then the, the pelvis actually starts a little bit lower here, but the skin starts there, right? So it starts kind of coming out. And I imagine this kind of shape like this, but this right here continues to come out like this kind of box shape with for a female. And that's what I'm thinking about. All right, I don't want to erase all that. Faster way to do that actually um, is just to select it and then go edit cut. Right, so that's that. Um, let's go ahead and pull the this down. I'd actually want to make this a little bit wider like this. Now he actually, I think, is showing it turned too much. We should see a little bit of the hip as well. So you're going to see like this center line here where the muscle are. The, this is the ab muscles. Kind of has this kind of shape comes down. He's got that right, and then it kind of comes out like this. You're going to see that little bit of um, bulge there usually for women. And you're going to have the crotch to be right about here. Boom, like that. And the crotch kind of follows that line. So this is the ab line, which follows like the nipples like this comes like this. This is like the ab muscles, like that, right? Okay, so that's like the ab muscles. Then you have your belly button here. And remember, the belly button fits right in the center of your of your um, love handles. So you want to imagine love handles like right about here, like that. The belly button's right in the center of the love handle. So that's the love handle. But you're going to see a little bit of this love handle over here and a little bit of the hip bone as it comes out like this, right? So right about the belly button like that, and it's gonna kind of come down like this. You're gonna kind of see a little bit of that shape right there. So it should come out a little bit more like this. And because she's kind of, um, she's turned three-fourths of you, uh, this, she's kind of leaning this way a little bit like that, her upper body, her upper torso is kind of leaning like that. So she, have to, she has to um, adjust for that so her weight is gonna be on this leg here. And so because the late, and then because she's in three-fourths of you, we're gonna have a kind of angle like this for her. Um, like if you imagine part of her iliac crest here, and then over there kind of sticking out like that, and that's this kind of angle like that a little bit. And so everything's gonna kind of follow this kind of angle, this kind of angle a little bit. And then we wanna have this kind of part right here. It's gonna kind of turn in a little bit like this, and it kind of comes out, and that's gonna make the leg here, and we have a little bit of the, boom, the fat's gonna come off that and cover that up like this, and it's gonna come down like that. We're gonna be seeing a little bit of the side, so. Because she's a little bit three-fourths view, we're seeing a little bit of her side and front view of the leg. And so normally you'd have this kind of muscle kind of comes like this. We're just going to see a little bit of that here, like that. So that's going to be that inner side that we usually draw from the front view, but we're not going to see it as much from this view. And then we'll have her, her buttock, her buttock part, of, part of her buttocks here, and the side of her leg is going to come down like this. Right, and then this leg, we can have it just kind of coming in. So we're going to have it come like this. And it's going to kind of be, maybe kind of coming behind her a little bit, which is how he kind of had it. All right, so I kind of exaggerated her hips. I kind of made them a little bit bigger um, than they, they probably would be. But it looks cool. Like, it's, that's up to you how much you want to exaggerate or not. I'm going to kind of come, let's kind of taper this in a little bit. Remember, the widest part is right about here. And because it's at a slight angle, I'm going to make it not as wide here like that. So we'll see a little bit less of that. So the main part that he didn't show was this part right here, and we should still see some of that even in three-fourths view. You don't you don't just see the stomach muscle, and then then it turns away. Like see how he has it where he's just showing the stomach right here, and he's not really showing the leg and the hip behind it. So all that structure should still be there. See, you still be able to see all that even though it's in three-fourths view. So that's the other thing to keep in mind. So yeah, that's pretty much it that I wanted to talk about. I think that will help him figure out what he did wrong and how to correct it. Just remember um, the angles, right? So the the breast, the bottom of the breast and the nipples, right? The, the placement of the breast follow in line with your collarbone. So if your collarbones are at this angle, then that's the angle your breast will be at. If your collarbones are straight, even though you're in a three-fourths of you, then they're going to be straight, right? So you got to think about that. But it's very rare the collarbones are going to be straight if you're in a three-fourths of you because you're kind of turning one part away from us. And then just a little bit on this one right here as well, just remember that it's still three-fourths of you, so you have a slight angle to 
the collarbone, and so you should have a slight angle to the nipples, and then this slight angle here, which you seem to have right, but the nipples are wrong. I'm not sure why you got the bottom of the breast right, but you didn't get the nipple right, so the nipple should be here, like this, and then remember, you should have space. There's no reason why her breast should be pushed together like this. They fall to the side, remember? The, they're like water balloons fitting on a cylinder, so they fall to the side. If you imagine you have the cylinder here like this, right? It's the center line. The breasts are going to fall, and they're going to fall and wrap around. Right? This is from the front view, right? But they, they wrap around, so they have this kind of slope here, you see? Just imagine you have a cylinder, you have two water balloons, and they, they, they roll around the side. So if you think about it from, like if someone's laying, lying down, you have the cylinder like this, right? And the, the water balloons have to fit on top of this, right? So they have to fit like this. They squish like that, boom, this is the, see? That's why the breast looks like that from the top view. Okay. And so we're gonna see, just like over here, we're gonna see that Boom, like that shape like this. And then we're gonna have a slight, a slight gap here. And it's gonna kind of come down and around like this. And this nipple's gonna be facing toward us. So you have a you have a little bit off there. Hold on, let me. Oh, I'm drawing in the wrong layer. Oh well, doesn't matter. Right, like this. And then you're gonna have um, kind of show that a little bit more like this and just remember that when you when you have this shape it comes down like this you have the the tummy muscle here right about there right right about where the belly button is you're going to have part of the hip right here you're going to be able to see that and it's going to come down like that right and that around that same area over here you want that you want to show this kind of shape like this and that comes down into the leg like that and then you can pull this into the love handle. This is where the love handle is. And then the love handles will kind of flow into the buttocks here. Right? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a couple minor things and you're going to be on your way to, you know, really start drawing better from your imagination. And that's what the course teaches. Just so you know, he's drawing these from imagination. So this teaches you how to draw from imagination, which is really helpful when then you start drawing from references. You want to go back and forth, you know, practice drawing from references, practice drawing from your mind. And you'll get better at it because you'll start, you'll get better at both. Drawing from your mind, you'll start to be able to see what you're drawing better. It helps you understand the mechanics of what's of what you're looking at. But anyway, so that's it. Hey, by the way, if you want to get this course, the Anatomy 2.0 course, which is an amazing course that will teach you everything you ever wanted to know about muscles, where they attach, how they stretch, how they look, how they form, where fat builds up, right? It teaches you all the anatomy of the human figure so you can draw the, the figure from your mind and also draw it from reference so much better than you ever have before. And right now you can get it on sale. Check the description below. I'm going to put a pinned in the comments. Check the comments. I'm going to put a pinned comment. So my comment will be at the top, will be pinned. And in that comment, I will have a link to get the course for like $14 and that should be active for like 30 days. So yeah, if you're watching this video within you know 30 days after I posted it, that link should still be good for you. Just click on it and see, and then you get a sale on it. If not, go ahead and, and uh, send me a message here on YouTube saying, hey, I would love to get the course. I can't afford it at the full price. Can you please give me a discount link and I'll see if I have any available at that time. All right, hey, thanks for watching. Hey, if this has helped you at all, do me a favor and smash that like button. I know it's such a it's such a little thing for you, but it's such a big thing for me. It literally just takes you a second to hit the hit the thumbs up button, and it means a lot to me. I appreciate it.